protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Well, no doubt tonight's State of the Union address is going to feature Obama calling for tighter cybersecurity legislation, and he's probably not going to talk about their surveillance state, and he's definitely not going to be talking about the fact that cops don't even need a warrant to see inside your home. Now, we told you about this more than a decade ago, but here it is. At least 50 U.S. law enforcement agencies have secretly equipped their officers with radar devices that allow them to effectively peer through the walls of houses to see whether anyone is inside. These agencies include the FBI and the U.S. Marshal Service. They began deploying the radar systems more than two years ago with little notice to the courts, no public, public disclosure of when or how they would be used. Now, these radars work like finely tuned motion detectors. They use radio waves to zero in on movements as slight as human breathing from a distance of more than 50 feet. And they can detect whether anyone is inside of a moving house, where they are, and whether they are moving. And there's a pretty good diagram of exactly how these um, things are working. Now, the agent's use of the radars was largely unknown until December this is because a federal appeals court in Denver said that officers had used one uh, before they entered a man's house in order to issue an arrest warrant. The judges there expressed alarm because they used this technology without first getting a search warrant. Obviously, this raises grave Fourth Amendment questions. And they also say, you know, the technology then was hardly new because federal contract records show the Marshal Service began buying these radars in 2012. They've spent about $180,000 on them. Ah, but see, if you'll recall, Alex Jones and all of the rest of us here at the InfoWars crew were called crazy because we were telling you about this technology more than a decade ago in Police State 2 and Police State 3. Straight out of the running man, right here in New York, we have police state surveillance blimps that are sponsored by Fuji Film. This is only the beginning. In the future, every major city will have a high altitude blimp tethered to a cable with ground penetrating radar that looks right through your walls and gives the government a black and white image of the inside of your home. This entire war on terror is truly a pretext to launch a military industrial complex takeover of the entire society. Everything is now going to shift into prisons and surveillance and security. We're going out of the free market economy into the fascist economy. The elite has used socialism to consolidate the people's wealth. Now that it's under their control, they're going to phase out all of the programs for the population and it's all going to corporate welfare. This is the new America. Sound weapons. Police in black ski masks with automatic machine guns. And yes, helicopters swarming around surveillance blimps right here in New York City. And only in the new corporate fascist America would we have a blimp for police state purposes uh, that is sponsored by a major company. And we found out that Fuji gave free bikes to all the police. And guess why? They sold the U.S. government, a bunch of different city governments, or trying to sell other city governments, these high-tech imaging systems, these face scanning systems to recognize who we are. So our face becomes a national ID card, and Fuji is on the cutting edge of that. In the past, football teams had sponsors or baseball teams. Then it was named stadiums after phone companies, Southwestern Bell, Nextel. Now we have the Fuji sponsored NYPD blimp. Follow the blimp, the blimp just flew over. Yeah, man. Follow that blimp, don't lose it. We're using that blimp for surveillance. We always know where the protests are at. There it is, sir, follow that blimp. No, lose it, but what do you think I'm saying about it? What do you guys think of the new security blimp? That's <laughs> nice. I want to know how you get qualified to uh, drive the blimp. Right, it says Fuji and NYPD. Yes, it does. So I want to go to blimp school because I want to. I want to fly the blimp. So is Fuji now with the police department, or are you guys renting? I think we're renting it. You know. Renting the blimp? Yeah. Believe it or not, right? <laughs> I heard a story that the police in, in, in some of their helmets have cameras. That I didn't ever heard. <laughs> I saw it on Fox. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. What about the big sound wave guns? Where are those? I haven't, that I know nothing about. Did you hear about those? No, I didn't. Did you hear about how they got the 
Yes. I can't, I can't comment on anything like that. Now we're going to look at biometrics, the cashless society control grid. It'll be satellite tracked and taxed to drive an automobile. They're talking about 65 cents a mile during peak times. The federal government is preparing and pushing the states to implement this system. We're talking about RFID tracker chips in the money and almost all products you buy at the store that will track and trace what you do. The Cold War error echelon system is being beefed up to listen to every phone call, read every fax and email, track all purchases made by Americans. And meanwhile, the border stays wide open. This is about total taxation, total control, total surveillance. So I want you to understand this. You're going to be taxed and traced and followed. They want to make it the law, satellite tracking systems in all your cars. The hardware and software is already in all the new cars, just to have the interface plugged in. We're only a few years away from this. Your television sets, that they have digital cable hooked into them, are watching in detail what you watch. They've got face scanning cameras on the streets. They're going in the grocery stores, following and tracking what you're doing, building detailed psychological algorithms on you. Uh, they're face scanning you and thumb scanning you to get driver's license now. Uh, almost all the 50 states have implemented this, or just a few that haven't. That's where they get the face scan and the thumb scan to, to match against you at the grocery store or at the mall. Uh, but all of this is happening while our borders are wide open. And on top of that, we have the Pentagon saying, we're going to watch all Americans. Now, that's the hallmark of Mexico or Russia or Guatemala or communist China. But you have the army, the military, watching the people. And uh, for those of you that are watching this program many years from now, I want you to understand that uh, you're going to have more terrorism come out of all this because the very military industrial complex that is now enslaving and taking control of the people are the ones that stand to gain for more terrorism. And the evidence clearly shows they are instituting and carrying out the terrorism. That is small compartmental units of this behemoth federal government that is becoming an imperial world government. Most people in government are good throughout the pyramid, but that key cabal at the top controls and sets the policy for the entire beehive uh, type society. So understand, maximum surveillance, maximum big brother tracking and tracing that dwarfs the nightmare vision of George Orwell in 1984. It's more akin to a THX 1138 matrix-like system. Uh, the chains are being forged. We're being put in to this brave new world. And people need to face the scope of this electronic straitjacket that's being projected against you and your family. My friends, they've now announced, way back in 2002, that the Scientific Atlantic cable boxes, the digital cable boxes, watch what you watch. They don't just watch you physically. No, no, they pierce your mind. They build psychological algorithms. Every part of the show is Q scored, the psychological rating, the ads are even scored, and it all goes back and computers go through that data, just like cookies when you surf the internet, but with more detail. It's worse than 1984. It doesn't just see what you're physically doing, it builds detailed psychological profiles of you. There's satellite tracker systems already in all the new cars, ready for the hubs to be plugged in. The federal government is announcing that they want to do this. They're preparing the states. We're only a few years away from it. They're standardizing it and promoting it as a safety feature. It'll track, trace, turn your car off, tax the living daylights out of you. Face scanning cameras in the grocery stores. Just total control. Every email, every fax, everything you do tracked and traced. And the symbol is New World Order with an all-seeing burning red eye radiating the earth. Big Brother will be watching America. Giant information matrix to track movements. Federal regulators ease restrictions on technology that can see through walls. This is all their system. They say they're going to have hover drones watching us at all times, and they've been given the technology to police for five years. It's a crisp black and white image of everything you do in your home. You're going to look through four feet of concrete, and that's just what they're giving police now. FBI spy planes patrol U.S. and use systems to look through your walls. And it uh, continues, you are a suspect. William Sapphire in the New York Times says, every purchase you make with a credit card, every magazine subscription you buy, medical prescription you fill, every website you visit, email you send or receive, every 
academic grade you receive, every bank deposit you make, every trip you book, every event you attend, all these transactions and communications will go into what the Defense Department describes as a virtual centralized grand database. And then it says that it will also add all private stuff to that. And they're, you know why they're throwing this in your face? As a chilling effect so you don't stand up against them. Let me give you a little secret. They, ha they can listen to everything we do. They don't have personnel. They had 10 million people. They couldn't read all the billions of faxes and emails and letters, even with keyword software. So they don't have personnel to actually implement this unless you accept all this evil, accept torture, accept this mind warp, and go along with it. They need you to play along. You can stop this. But if you do play along, go ahead and serve them. They're going to absolutely ruin your life and your children's life. They seem to go after folks that serve them even more. It's like God allows it to happen or something. It's, I, I've just observed it for years. Airline security experts want to know whether uh, what you have in your heart. Forget about what's in your suitcase. What the government really wants to know is whether you have evil in your mind. And by the way, they now in Boston Logan Airport have put a NASA brain scanner in and four of their airports have put it in. It's total quackery. They've proven the old fashioned lie detectors a fraud. They've already proven that. Now they go, oh, the brain scanner says you're a terrorist. It shows you're with them. It actually says this. The computer says you're guilty. I mean, think about this. Road cameras raise arrest, push to take number plate scanners nationwide. From England to the U.S., they're scanning your license plates as you drive. A hot car. See, it was just for traffic reports. Now it's, oh, we're going to use it for law enforcement. Yeah. See how that works? They won't put cameras on the border, and the border is being dissolved. Always remember that key point. They're getting rid of the national sovereignty. Uh, now it's just road cameras. They focus on terrorism. See, they've got to watch us. And they've got the tips program where your cable guy and your phone man tattle on you and your neighbors do. And uh, now four New Jersey school districts test the kids when they come into school for drug residue. And bars in New York and in London are, are testing your hands to see if you've taken drugs before you go into the bar. I mean, it's just... It's nuts. It's just crazy. They go, oh, it's voluntary. Now also, in-car boxes, safety measure or spy tactic. And I admit, oh, these little boxes are already in all your cars. By the way, Homeland Security's hooked into these private billboards all over that tune into what you're listening to. Did you know that your radios in your car, AM and FM, actually transmit at a low level? And now Homeland Security tunes into what you're listening to. Uh, High-tech billboards tune into driver's taste. And it says, the billboard is listening, San Francisco Chronicle, ABC News. Here's another one, Business Week. Will your TV become a spy? Hollywood wants every new digital set to include a monitoring device mm, that tracks back and reports to them. It seems it's an everyday occurrence to have the National Guard out for, quote, safety checkpoints being conducted with local police. Also in the April 10th, 2000 edition of Around Iowa. It, it seems they're having to propagandize the local public via the papers and condition them that it's okay to have the military out in police uniforms and dressed as civilians. Oh, that's not a telltale sign of the secret police. But don't worry, it says questions have been raised about the use of plainclothes Iowa National Guard troops. But Major Michael Cohen, a lawyer for the National Guard, he says there's no problem. Why, well, he says Congress says that it's A-OK. -okay. Well, I guess they've scrapped posse commentatus and we're going the way of Mexico or Russia. How can any serious American watch this? Anyone that has an even basic grasp of human history. <laughs>